In this problem, we're given a stand uh, with some pre thinning data 360 trees per acre, base layer 240 square feet per acre. So, quite the well stocked stand here. Um, and we want to know what the QMD is, what the quadratic mean diameter, which is one way to look at the average diameter. Technically, it's the tree mean basal area. And so, if I'm going to take out a third of my stand in a third row thin, what I could do is I could multiply 360 trees per acre by two thirds, because I'm leaving two thirds of the rows up. I'm taking one down, and that would tell me I need 240 trees per acre, or I'm going to have 240 trees per acre after that uh, thin. Similarly, for basal area, I have 240 feet squared per acre, and I could multiply that by two thirds. And that tells me I have 160 feet square per acre left after this hypothetical thing. Not very realistic, pretty high basal area to have after thin, but the math is the same regardless of these numbers. Okay, now we need to know how to calculate QMD. QMD equals the square root basal area over trees per acre divided by 0 0.0054 54. And so I have all the data I need. I simply plug in the numbers. So order of operations, I would first divide 160 by 240, get that number, which you can see is going to be two thirds. Then I would take that number and I would divide it in my calculator by 0 0.005454. I would have that number, then I would take the square root of that number. And in that order of operations, I'm going to get 11.1 .1 inches. Now, this step up here we did was not necessary. If you remember the impact of a row thin on Q and B. If you cut down a third of your biggest trees, a third of your smallest trees, and a third of your average trees, that row thin, that geometric thin, will not change the Q and B of your stand. And we can see why here mathematically. If I do this with my pre thin stand data, so this is going to be the square root of 240 over 360 over. 0 0.005454. You'll notice that in this fraction, I multiply that 240 by two thirds to get 160. I multiply this 360 by two thirds to get 240. So I basically have the same fraction. That equals two thirds, 160 over 240. This equals two thirds because I multiply both the top and the bottom of a fraction by the same thing. I didn't actually change that fraction. So this also equals 11.1 .1 inches. So you could correctly do this problem without doing this step up here at all. You could just go straight and plug that in, knowing it's not going to change. Calculate the pre-thin QMD. It's going to be the same as the post-thin QMD. So that's going to be our correct answer. Okay. 